Mr. Artist contacted me. I was working out. I was doing my thing, get my mind right for the next Saturday, June 22nd. And as I walk down this line, I look at the posters on the wall. You see Cage right here, dead center, when I was nobody. You go down here, you got all these legends on here, Chris Masters, Billy Gunn, Buff. You got shows I've worked on, name right there. You see, Sammy Love has a history. Am I the best? By far, no means. Am I a legend? By far, no means. No. But guess what? I was good enough to beat Carolina Girl. Hey, I went in there, fair and square. I, I done what I had to do. I got a win. June 22nd. Whoever my opponent is then. If it's Carolina Girl, Carolina Kid, whoever it may be. Just know... Sammy Love will be coming, but he's not going to be showing no love in that ring because I don't show love. You see, the only person I love, <laughs> let me ponder on that for a second. Do I love Mr. Dirt? Love's a strong word. Am I good friends with Mr. Dirt? Yes, by God. Wasn't trading for nothing in the world, but do I love him? Yeah, I do love him. He's had my back ever since day one. He's been with me ever since day one. He, hey, he's even been in here training with me since day one. He's had my back since I've been started. So whoever we may go into battle with, I'll always ride with him. He's my buddy. He's my friend. And first of all, he was my boss. Mr. Dirk, I love you, buddy. We got that win over Carolina girl. And whoever else may be our competition, hell, we can run through them too. Even if it's the North American champion, Big Tat, whatever he is, I don't know what the hell he is. I just know he's big and he, he got a, something's tatted on him. <laughs> you know what I mean? But hey, all smiles this way. Catch your boy Sammy Love on the fly. Gotta go. <laughs> society we live in simple but it's beautiful creates a value Samuel for example Samuel is both simple and beautiful therefore he is valuable that's why he got time at the beginning of this video because being both simple and beautiful, people are going to watch. Because even if they themselves are simple and ugly, they're going to relate to the simple part. And they're going to long for the beauty. Now, worried a lot lately about the simply uglies and their decisions. Because they make very bad decisions being simple. Carolina Kid, for example, came out and he brutally attacked me while I was trying to check on my personal assistant this past Saturday. And he put my sunglasses on. That was a bad decision. I'm worried about the consequences he shall face for that. But one simply ugly, I'm not worried about it anymore as you, Mr. Brad Brands. Brother, I saw your video. Hell, I even edited it for you. Being simple, you don't really understand technology, do you? But I threw it up. And I was looking forward. Because you really inspired me. You were for fire. You were going to go to the Rumble for the Rams. You were going to provide, right? Well, you weren't there, Brad. Were you? No, because you made the right choice and you finally stayed home with your family. Just where you should be. And I think that's the cause for celebration. I've even decided to break my excellent nutrition having myself a Mountain Dew. Mmm. That's 
smells like a dad drink, doesn't it? Happy Father's Day, by the way, Brad. You know, Brad, we should do this right. You shouldn't just walk away quietly. Now, I heard through the grapevine that baby Bill is coming home soon. That she's getting big and she's healthy. And pretty soon you're going to be around a lot more for them. For her and John. You're going to be at home. You should be. And I think you should come out to a show. I think you should bring the entire family. And you should have your last moment. I'll get you front row tickets. I'll buy you something from the concession stand. Give you some merch, Brad. I'll make sure you have the night of your life. And we'll end the show if you want. I'll talk to the office. I will let you come out for like two, three minutes. Say a little something. Leave your boots in the middle of the rink. Do it right, Brad. I'm proud of you.